Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I'm going to explain about how to add extensions in Elastic 5. Now select the extensions and now we can see how to add a new extension. Now click add. Now you need to enter your extension number. I'm going to give it as 161 and you can enter your first name and last name and your email address for the notification and you can add your mobile number and outbound caller ID and going to leave it as empty and in the authentication you can enter your ID as the extension number that is 161 and the password for the extension for the web meeting URL you can add your ID here and in the next option you have the voicemail the voicemail is enabled and you can select your voicemail language and the pin number for the voicemail if you want to read the date and time you can select the read date and time option and for email you can set your email notification here and i'm going to select the send email notification only and if you want to and if you want to disable the voicemail pin authentication you can disable this using the disable option and if you want to play the caller id you can enable this and for adding the voicemail greetings you can add your recordings here the recording format should meet the following requirements the PCM and you need to follow the following bitrate and the other configuration and in the forwarding rules you have the status the status is available and for the internal calls you can enter your seconds for the call if you want to forward the call after the timeout seconds you can forward it using the forward option and for the external calls you can configure here and in the other options you have the ring my phone simultaneously you can tick this for ringing the phone simultaneously and if you want to accept the multiple call you can tick this and enable the multiple calls and if you want to log out from the queues you can enable the log out option and for the greeting you can upload your audio file and if you have any exceptions you can add your exception rule here using the exception option and in the phone provisioning you can add your phones through the provisioning option you can click add to add your phones here and in the network configuration you can see the network interface IP and the SIP transport type that is UDP and in the preferences you, need, you can select your IP phone or soft phone for soft phone you can use the 3CX client software and IP phone you can use your desired IP phone and in the access you can block the use of C3X client and you can hide your forwarding rules if you need and if you want to show the call recordings you can enable this and if you want to allow the deletion of recordings you can enable this for adding the codecs you can see the codec option and the next is the BLF the busy lamp field you can add your speed dials shared parking and the other functions using the busy lamp field in the options we have the restrictions and the other options in the restriction you can disable this extension using the disable option and if you want to disable the external calls for the extension you can disable this and if you want to block the remote tunnel connection you can use this option and if you want to block outbound calls outside of office hours you can enable this and then the other options you have the record all calls for this extension and if you want to screen the calls by requesting the caller name you can enable this and if you want the email notification on missed call you can enable this if you don't want to show your extension in the 3cx phone book you can enable this and the SIP ID you need to enter your extension that is 161 and in the troubleshooting you have the support reinvite and support replace header and the pbx delivers audio and next is the rights in the rights you have the group membership the extension is now the part of the default group in the elastics file and you can select your roles here i'm going to select it as user and if you want to perform the operations on active calls to the other group members you can enable this and you can divert transfer and pick up calls if you want to do intercom service in this extension you can enable this 
and you can use the park calls and control IVR options to park calls and control the IVR options and if you want to allow the access to the 3CX management console for this extension you can tick this and enter your password for enabling the 3CX management console access and last is the integration option if you have the integration package you can select your integration package and restart the 3CX client to enable the integration for the extension after configuring the extension you can click ok to create the new extension now we can see the new extension 161 is created successfully in this video we saw how to create a extension in elastics 5 we can see more about elastics in the next video thanks for watching if you like it please subscribe to our channel to watch more tutorial videos from us